Hey guys, welcome to ED Technology. My name is Navjot Singh Jadeja and we are back with the data mining tutorial series. And as you can see, today we are going to discuss min-max normalization technique. So min-max normalization is part of data pre-processing. So it's a normalization technique. And now the question arises before learning how to apply min-max. I wanted to ask you guys, like, do you understand why normalization is required? If you understand that, the process of calculating normalization uh, via technique would be much more easier. So many machine learning algorithms attempt to find trends in data by comparing features of data points. However, there is an issue when the features are on drastically different scales. So let us understand what do I mean by that. So basically normalization is a set of techniques we apply on the data especially when they are coming from different scales. Otherwise, it may lead into errors in decision making or inappropriate decisions because it's not matching up in the scale. So examples is some of the data which we have might be in miles, some data which might be there in kilometers and the units are different but the numbers are there and we try to compare, we may lead into inappropriate decision. There are a lot of other cases similar to this where normalization is required so we scale it down to a you know smaller number a range where all the uh, numbers can be incorporated and that is known as normalization so let us understand this with a simple example so the simple normalization technique which we fit the data a, in a predefined boundary or to be more specific a predefined interval so in here we are talking about normalization which refers to a scaling of data in numeric variables in the range of 0 to 1 and the formula is v dash or the data which we want to transform is equal to v minus v minus min divided by max minus min into new max minus new min plus new min so it's, it's a mathematical formula maybe you don't understand it right away or remember this that's an easier way to work it out with an example. So let us see that. So let's uh, learn it by a solved example, which I'll be doing. So here I have range of a particular product in tuples, right? And the increasing order. So from 13 to 72, as you can see it here, I've got a data which is 13, 15, 16, 16, 19, up to all the way to 72, right? And I want to apply min-max normalization on the value 45 right for the age onto the range which is 0 to 1 so i want to transform this whole set of numbers onto the scale of 0 to 1 so how would i do that let us understand so in order to do this we would require the question the the range of the numbers and also the number to be transformed so going back to the formula what do we need v dash is equal to v minus min max minus min right into new max minus new min plus new min so here v is the value which we want to transform right this particular value is the value which we want to transform and here the question it is 45 so we will be noting that down plus we have a defined range so what we will be doing is throughout the question whatever values we have we'll be listing it out here so the given range is 0 to 1 data which we want to transform v is equal to 45 min value which we require here is 13 right will also require max which is 72 new min is 0 and new max is 1 so when we gather all this data which is listed here into the formula which is there above it will look something like this so we have the formula which is v minus min so v is 45 as we know so 45 minus min which is 13 so as you can see it here it is 45 minus 13 maximum number in the range is 72 so the denominator is 72 minus 13 now new max new max is 1 as you can see it here right so 1 minus 0 is 1 which is in here and new min which is nothing but again 0 which is 0 in here so 45 minus 13 by 72 minus 13 into 1 plus 0 
which is nothing but this particular term when we mathematically calculate this the resultant value is 0.5423 on the scale range of 0 to 1 so the new transform point of fortify on the scale of 0 to 1 using the given set of value is 0.5423 understood guys so similarly let us do one more example so you guys can understand it well so now we have the another set of values we still have the same min max right of, of the new values so the new min and new max is 0 and 1 the range of value here is if you can see properly is 200 to 1000 right so that is the set of values we have so data which I'll be taking up to transform is 300 so as you can see we have the given range which is let me show it up yeah the given range is 0 to 1 data which I've chosen is uh, from the range itself 300 new uh, min is 0 old min is 200 old max is 1000 new max is 1 right so let us put the same value in the formula here so we have v minus min so 300 minus 200 divided by max is 1000 minus min which is 200 so it comes out 800 into 1 plus 0 so basically we get 100 by 800 is equal to 0 0.125 right and that's the answer for this particular sum so this is how we can get all different values of different ranges into the value of a particular you know transformation range and this helps the data mining or decision making or the machine learning algorithms to work with the data much better so i hope you would understand this with a simple sum switch we have done you can practice more and you can give the feedback to us all right thank you so much